Are you excited? I've been waiting to go back since we left. <laughs> I think we're gonna go and wrangle up some cows. That sounds fun. If you fantasize about being a cowboy or whatever, it wouldn't let you down. We got the smoker going. Good morning, welcome back to Wyoming. We are headed back to the ranch that we volunteered on last year and it is something we've been looking forward to for over a year now and we, um, are just really excited to get back and help out this year. Last year we were there for some pretty big events and this year we've heard that there is some hay cutting that needs to be done and possibly uh, helping out with a cattle drive, whatever that means. <laughs> it's a five day cattle drive across like thousands of acres on their property. So I don't know what that's gonna entail. We are really looking forward to it. We're at Walmart. Um... Surprise, surprise. Yeah, we loaded up. I think we're more well stocked than we've ever been before. I'm actually shocked at how much we can fit in our fridge and our cabinets right now. What I'm most excited about is the fact that to bring extra stuff, we got rid of extra stuff. So, mm -hmm. it's always good to purge. That's right, even in this lifestyle, you have to find times where you purge. And for us, it's normally like every like three to four months yeah. where we're going through clothes and yep. just cab like cabinets and- Bring stuff in, bring stuff out. Exactly. You can't just keep bringing it in. <laughs> All so, right. This is a sweet drive. Yes. Uh, I can't wait to show you guys. We're going through the Bighorn Mountains to get to 10 Sleep, Wyoming. So we're going to show you how awesome this mountain pass is. All right, guys. Are you, s <laughs> Are you excited? I've been waiting to go back since we left. <laughs> <laughs> what are you the most excited about at the ranch? Um, seeing everybody. There's a new baby since the last time we were there and he's very teeny still. I think he's only a month old. So we're very excited to see little baby John. Yeah, what else? We're going on a five day cattle drive. <laughs> We think. We think. We, we don't know. We don't know the details, so we're we're excited for whatever part we play in that, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. What could th those things involve that you're well, excited about? Side by side. Side by side. In I, case you haven't noticed, our kids love side by sides. I, I and would rather they, have a horse. Hey, what's the matter? We just hit like a mud patty or something. This thing, we, we just cleaned it. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Mud all over the RV now. Oh, I'm sorry. I think we freaked out that car. <laughs> they thought we were filming. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Stupid rumble strip. This is not so fun. Oh my gosh, it's so close to this goat. Don't hit him. Don't, Don't hit the goat. Don't hit him. Oh my gosh, Corey. <laughs> Corey Michael. All right, so we have to take a quick stop in uh, Buffalo. We're gonna just get fuel because there's no fuel around where we're going. They're like an hour away from everything. In two miles. And we have to stop by Napa to pick up some supplies. I think it's just uh, oil and some stuff. For, uh, for them, for so. Their trucks. Quick All little right. stop. After reviewing the said mud splatter footage, you're definitely overreacting. It only has to be one spot. <laughs> you can't even see it. Oh, it's everywhere. <laughs> All right, this is not 
insignificant. Look at all that mud. Come on, we just washed this thing. Much better. You just washed off the road. Yeah. You're a freak. I'm not a freak. You're a freak. Shut up. <laughs> Would you please? Look at this nice clean truck and trailer. I want to drive around something clean for at least I one know, day. It's a day. Okay, you got us going to Napa? Napa. Alright. We are like two and a half miles away but we can't pull in there we're just <laughs> we're only going to be able to drive up along the road because there's nowhere to pull into the stuff all right it's itty bitty all right here's our next major goal next major goal yes avoid that puddle avoid that puddle no mud <laughs> don't hit the puddle we're pretty close what are we doing over here Okay, we're good. You did it. Puddles avoided. I just want one day with a clean rig. Oh, just one honey. Day. We have four more hours to go. <laughs> Ooh, 50. It is chilly in the mountains in Wyoming today. Man, these like transitions into these gas stations and places are rough. Slow and steady. When you can't fit into the driveway of Anapa, you just have to go in the turning lane. Let's let this guy pass us. Alrighty then. Clear. Oh, uh, is it gonna rain? I don't even get my 24 hours. <laughs> Oh, honey. Pass is what? What'd you say? 9660. 96, the temperature is dropping. Wow. Really great gas mileage right there. <laughs> We're in the clouds. Yep. The clouds have overtaken us. Oh, that awesome. looks cool. Hey, these clouds are cool as long as they don't have rain in them. <laughs> That's all I care about. I got two more hours no until rain. my 24 hour clean mark is up. I think it's snowing. It's snowing. No oh way. Goodness. I don't know if you can see it, but it's snowing. I can see it. <laughs> oh my oh gosh. It's getting worse. It's snowing. Snow right now is better than rain. <laughs> It's just bouncing right off. It's like a force field around our truck. Oh my gosh, it's freezing up here. Okay. <sighs> I, don't, I don't think we're staying for long and you're definitely not flying the drone in this. Not River Pass. 9666. <sighs> oh 
gosh. It's so cold. I still okay. want to try to fly the drone. You can't. There's no way. I'll probably lose it. Yeah. We're going to go check out the snow. Are you kidding? They're your kids. You're filming. They're your kids. Two minutes, nothing right there. Oh, dear. How are your toes? My toes are freezing. <laughs> <laughs> that is one angry drone. <laughs> Thirty-one degrees at the very top of the pass. No wonder it was snowing. Are you gonna get it back? It's already back. Oh, good. Excellent. Let's see if I can go find the girls. Can you see them? Your tough. fingers or your toes? <laughs> oh, <in the> door. <laughs> <sighs> Did you guys find some snow? In a mar marmot. Oh, it really? Like, it was like really close to us. Oh, really cute. How cold is it? Dude, 31, 31 degrees. degrees. <laughs> so cold. The time lapse going down the mountain. That guy really was, was nice. excited about the drone. <laughs> Just a portable one. Mm -hmm. When we take these mountain like passes, how happy are you that we have like exhaust brakes and oh, the exhaust brakes? Like... Great. I mean, if you get it right, it'll just stay at the same speed. And the trick is because we just stopped hard, not hard, but harder. Um, don't let your brakes rest in one spot. Like if you they get super hot, and if you leave it clamped down in one spot that'll warp your rotors. So move a little bit, like I'm moving a little bit every once in a while, so it's not on one spot the whole time. Da, 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 blue skies. Yep. No. no rain yet. <laughs> You're winning, honey. You're winning. I mean, all joking aside, I mean, it's nice to have a clean rig, but really, you're going to want to get stuff off your rig. We had rotar, we had bugs, we had pitch. All that stuff will start eating away your clear coat if you leave it on there too long. So it's not just about looking pretty. You gotta get that stuff off. Um, just to protect the life of the paint. Yeah. These switchbacks are incredible. Check these out. Look at this. Listen to this water rushing behind us. Oh my gosh. A little less windy here. It's so beautiful. It's one of your favorite places to you drone, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's got like bug splatters on it. There's bug splatters on it? Yeah. We've been killing some bugs up in the air. The girls are just like, can we just go, please? Can we just get there, please, please, please? This is it. This is the end. Yeah. Man, no way are we really having now? I hope we're having now. And sleep. Man. So I hope that conveyed a little bit of how awesome this mountain pass is. Mm -hmm. 
coming over from Gillette, I mean, you go from rolling farmland up to jagged, you know, snow covered peaks. Mm -hmm. And then on the way down, the, those switchbacks, and then these All this red, red cliffs. The difference in the terrain and how quickly it changes. The diversity just, that we just saw in the last, you know, hour and a half is insane. I mean, it snowed. <laughs> I know. And uh, now we're at 55. Tomorrow's going to be in the mid 70s. Uh, I can't wait. Girls, you go to guys trying to sleep. So they're you trying to sleep away. Can't but wait anymore. Yeah, we just pull over to drone and they're like, can we just go? Can we just <laughs> Come go? On. is what we had in our heads like with the ranches and just wide open it did not let down if you fantasize about being a cowboy or whatever <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't let you down no it's just amazing Hey Justin. What's going on, guys? Look at this. We're doing with that already. Hey. Gotta start early. You just got out of the truck. Start with that crap already. You're so big. Again. Yeah. Oh. Hey, what you think, Spence? Do you want a bath? Oh, I didn't even see. That's fresh milk. What a difference a couple of hours can make it was 20 degrees colder with gusting winds like two hours ago. Corey's already headed out on a side by side to uh, check out the ridge on their property up here. Bye, boys. Mm -hmm. Oh, ho. what have you found? Wide open spaces. Man, you haven't been able to rollerblade in forever.
Hey, I'm a little happen. dusty. Oh gosh. Your husband's been taking me on adventures. Oh boy. Jesse has been waiting to meet <laughs> you. Oh man. Hi. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I know. They put you in his car. Waking somewhere. him up. Oh, they yeah. know I was away. <laughs> Where are you off to? I don't know. I think we're gonna go and wrangle up some cows. That sounds fun. Yeah. Alright, well watch for rattler snakes. Rattler snakes? Rattler Hi. snake. <laughs> So how was your day? It was fun. <laughs> we just did like 40 miles. Uh, it's a lot. You need to back out into the light so we can like see the fact that you did not bring a hat with you. Oh yeah, I'm fried. Nor did you put sunblock well, on. You didn't tell me anything. I didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> what time did I leave? It was, it was probably around like 10.30. Oh, okay. So I've been gone like five hours. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I thought it was going to be an hour. So we got the smoker going. It was a lot of fun. Nice. Super rugged terrain. Mm -hmm. uh, so I couldn't film the rough parts, but like the kind of the smooth stuff I was able to film because I was just filming with my phone. Handy dandy. I was just lucky because these aren't the best pants. I We're going like this. I thought it was just going to pop right out. You got it. Didn't fall. Good. Nothing broke. Excellent. Good day. <laughs> We've been here at the ranch for a few days and already the girls are taking on their daily tasks. They love being able to be at a place like this or when we're at the Everglades Outpost where they get to have daily responsibilities, things that they do um, by themselves. Uh, it gives them a sense of independence, I think, and I just I just think that it's helping them grow up and mature and it's really fun for us to watch. It really is. And I think they just do better when they have some responsibility. They're just getting older, so. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that last trip trip that I took um, where we just were out there pushing cows around I have a better understanding now um, so that's all in preparation for the cattle drive so you need to organize the cattle first into like a manageable size so what we're doing right. was just getting stragglers um, and getting other people's cows so even though there's fences other people's cows get in so we we're right. separating cows so that's what we've been doing the last couple days and I'm not gonna lie it's just so much fun it's just gorgeous country so just driving around pushing cows, doing whatever you want to do out there on a, a four-wheeler right. is, is amazing, so. And the best part is it. the unknown and unexpected here. We never know what's yeah, gonna you, happen. Yeah, you never know, and that's the point. And I think that's what, what's cool about um, ranch life, farm life, and any kind of lifestyle like this is right. the unknown. Everything's not the same every day. Every day is different, so. Right, and what we love about it is that we're always learning something, so. There's always something to learn. Always something to learn, and they are willing to teach, which which is my favorite thing. Um, they're patient with, <laughs> with us. So tomorrow is the official start to the cattle drive, and I have this running bet that I'll be able to push cows with my drone. The guys <laughs> do not think so, um, but I've had it up in the air around them. I think, I think they'll respond. Uh, so it's going to be an early morning tomorrow. We'll see you soon.